Hi there, this is Callie, here to tell you about Vertel Web Access. One of the main concerns with opening access to core mainframe applications from the web, especially through BYOD and mobile initiatives, is security. How secure is Vertel Web Access? Let's start first with a brief reminder of the security features of traditional 3270 terminal emulators. Traditional 3270 terminal emulators rely on a TN3270 connection between the mainframe and either fat clients or middle tier servers. The problem with TN3270 connections is that they transfer unencrypted 3270 data over IP connections using a synchronous connected communication protocol, which means that the connection remains permanently open throughout the session, even when inactive, which is most of the time. It is of course unacceptable to send unencrypted data over a TCP IP connection, and this is why TN3270 connections must be protected by a VPN, which, among other things, encrypts the transferred data. With TN3270 connections, users are authenticated and their authorizations are verified only once at logon. If the transaction server, for example, CICS or IMS, abends, users remain connected to the host free to roam without any control into unauthorized applications. Vertel Web Access provides a much higher level of security than traditional 3270 terminal emulators because with Vertel, 3270 terminal emulation users connect to the host via an end-to-end -end HTTPS connection. HTTP is an asynchronous disconnected communication protocol. Therefore, HTTP connections are closed when inactive, which is most of the time with 3270 terminal emulation. Of course, an internet connection cannot be hacked while disconnected. Also with HTTP connections, data transferred over the internet can be encrypted. In the case of Vertel, the encryption relies on ATTLS, the encryption service that comes with ZOS. Vertel controls the back and forth exchange between host and terminal emulation users with the following security features. With each new exchange, Vertel sends a new and unique security token to the user. Upon return from the user, Vertel checks that the exact same token is returned. If the incoming and outgoing tokens don't match, Vertel ends the session and the user needs to log on again to start a new session. This prevents man-in-the-middle attacks, where a hacker infiltrates a dialogue between mainframe and user. Vertel also verifies with each exchange that the length of data it receives is the one it expects. If not, Vertel ends the session and the user needs to log on again to start a new session. This prevents the type of attack where a hacker attaches, typically appends, malware to a legitimate data exchange. Finally, Vertel verifies that the IP address doesn't change throughout the session. If it does, Vertel ends the session and the user needs to log on again to start a new session. When it comes to user authentication and authorizations, Vertel doesn't stop with one-time logon authentication. Instead, Vertel serves to the authenticated user an application selection menu that contains only those applications that the user is authorized for. If the transaction server, for example CICS or IMS, abends, users are brought back to the Vertel application selection menu, which reflects the authorizations determined at logon. Vertel Web Access users are never allowed to roam free as with traditional 3270 terminal emulators. The fact that Vertel Web Access runs on the mainframe provides a number of additional security features. The code of the Vertel product runs on the mainframe where it cannot be hacked by web hackers, unlike the code of server and client-based 3270 terminal emulation applications. Vertel breaks and redirects the connection between the user and the 3270 application from HTTP to 3270 data flows and back. It makes it quite challenging for a web hacker to attack mainframe assets through Vertel because the connection protocols on each side of Vertel are totally different. In effect, Vertel acts as another firewall component between the 3270 applications and the web. As to unencrypted data exchanged with application screens, it remains inside the mainframe, between VTAM and Vertel, behind Vertel acting as a firewall, and away from the internet. The bottom line is that with these integrated security features, Vertel doesn't require a VPN, which can generate significant licensing and support cost savings. 
Not to forget that Vertel clients are dataless. No host data is stored on the clients, as Vertel clears the browser's cache at the end of each session. Consequently, no host data is exposed if a client's device is lost or stolen, which is a definite possibility with mobile devices. In addition to the integrated security features we have just discussed, Vertel provides additional optional security features. Vertel can be configured to work in conjunction with proxy, jump boxes, SSO, VPN, and other IP technologies. Vertel can be configured to control the client devices, terminals, or printers. Vertel supports field-level security filters that allow controlling field-by-field -field whether the user can browse or edit the field data. The three authorization levels, which can be controlled at the user or user group level, are No Display, Browse Only, and Update. With No Display, the field's data is not sent off the mainframe to the user. With Browse Only, the data of the field is sent to the user in Browse Only mode, even if, through some hacking, the user or some malware on the client device were to modify the field data on the client or during transfer back to the mainframe, Vertel would detect that the field data has been changed because it compares it to the field data that it sent to the user. Vertel would then end the session, forcing the user to log on again to start a new session. Only with update mode is the user authorized to modify the field. Finally, Vertel can be configured to work with multi-criteria logon authentication or with biometric authentication. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you now understand how secure Vertel Web Access is. If you want to know more about Vertel Web Access or other Vertel products, please check our video library. Keep your mainframe front and center with Vertel.